every weeknight. We can see my next guest providing advice on sex and love on MTV's Love Line. They also have a new book out. It's called the Dr. Drew and Adam book, A Survival Guide to Life and Love. Please welcome Dr. Drew Pinsky and Adam Carolla. What the hell happened, Andy? Where, where are you going? I'm, there's no room on the couch. Well, sit on the edge there. of the couch or something. What, right? That's... There you go. Man. Thank you. Good man. Sorry about the loss of your legs there, Rob. <laughs> I've never seen that happen in uh, over a thousand shows. I've never it's got a wide before. end. <laughs> it's his fault. Yeah. So much to talk about. The show has already delved into sexual matters. Yeah. And uh, I think because uh, the, the panel tonight is, is all guys, we should start with guys. What is, a, uh, what is a man's main concern? I mean, you've talked to thousands, of, maybe even millions of men. It's, it's his car, his penis, and his money, I, well, I would say. And you know what? We, we actually deal with some serious stuff on our show. And the most significant issue we're always dealing with is uh, surviving these dysfunctional families and the kind of chaos that people get into in their relationships. Mm -hmm. But answer the question but though. the question though is the, the, probably the most common thing we get is guys concerned about the size of their shamala yeah yeah <laughs> that's, that's, which is the correct term which isn't is that true medical, oh yeah how did you guys know that goes yeah. into funk and waggles tonight <laughs> yiddish for honker right? you know the only thing that's right. I, I ever want to hear from my girlfriend is that it's the biggest and only one i've ever seen <laughs> But, you know, really, guys are, it's, it's a symbol of their own worth, and guys these days feel crummy about themselves, and this is just a symbol they get worth about a buck fifty. Well, what, what, what's, what, what is it, I mean, what do guys think is, not to get crass, but what do guys out there think is the correct size? And, you know, what is it that, what do you tell them? What do you tell them is the well, average? Well, technically, the average size is, I think, 5.3. Yeah. Although, and everyone thinks it's six. Like inches, millimeters, centimeters, what are we talking about? <laughs> Are we, on the, are, we on the, are we on the metric system? That's your rack. Yeah, if you flip the ruler over, Conan, you really get some, some results in a hurry. Uh, my theory is the scientist, who's, the guy who's uh, conducting the research is at 5.4, so he just knocked <laughs> he it down. made it 5.3. Notch, yeah. Or it could be the influx of Asians uh, into the country uh, that have lowered the, uh, lowered the bar. Oh, it's you. a documented fact. Uh, please. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> So I'll just forward the hate mail to you. Is that the idea? Uh, the, uh, what I'm most curious about is, uh, you know, is, is you always hear that women say it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't. They're it constantly it, telling well, me I don't care, it, stop it, crying. It, it, uh, he gets the same thing, I believe. What? He, he has the same problem. Is this, is this, uh, is that true? true? I always no, think that can't true. be true. Look, you always see in the movies, it's gotta matter. It, it is true. What, what's, what's lacking in our relationships today is intimacy, not size of a, of a shame really. that, uh, that, That's code for oral sex. It, guys, it, guys with the small not. penises need to double up on the oral sex. Well, <laughs> that's the bottom line. Women, but, you know you want it, right? But being, but, <laughs> but just being responsible. Gee, that was not a resounding cheer. <laughs> She's like, God, girls, you know you want it. Uh -uh. <laughs> Really? <laughs> you know what they want? They want someone who's going to share with them. Yes. Uh, intimacy. Uh, intimacy. The, yes. Share their personalities. Absolutely. Share, get in there and talk. Yeah. They want talking. They want right. connection. They want closeness. <laughs> they see if you can feign sincer sincerity, guys. That's really the key here. Um, you're a hate-filled man, it's clear. <laughs> Catch the show, and you just have you had a bad life? What's happened? I mean, no, I uh, I'm just a realist, and I'm and frankly I'm I'm tired of our listeners and our callers. I got to tell you, the producers have to tell me uh, each each commercial. True, tell me if this isn't the stop truth. Stop yelling at the callers. Stop yelling at the callers. Yeah. Stop telling them to kill themselves. Yes, right. That, 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 that. Now I'm sorry, I haven't been in broadcasting long. I'm relatively new to this too, but I thought rule number one was don't tell the audience you hate them. Isn't that isn't that the first rule? You 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 think it makes sense? It really. <laughs> Does, but after talking to enough screwed up people uh, for no, a living no, all day, every day, you just want everyone to kill what themselves. What is, uh, what Cut is... Penis off, kill yourself. All right. 
we, we deal with a lot of. How do you put up as a doctor, as a man of medicine, a man who spent a lot of time? You're yeah. sitting here working with a guy who says, "Ah, eh, chop your penis off, no, kill no, yourself." It, 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 the deal is that our show is really. How do you a, guys get along? A, a sheep in wolves clothes. I mean, Adam sort of creates an environment that gets me in with the population. Does wouldn't want to hear from a guy like me. Right. And gets me behind the gates, lets me kind of come out and do some work and that's some right. Information. I mean, we have information in the book that we thought. Yeah, was let's talk now. There is people. some information in here. There's uh, this was a. This is fascinating in here. There's a gay test. Oh, gay yeah. aptitude test. Gay that. aptitude test. Do you want to do this? Right. Is this yeah. a test that people can take at home right now well, who are watching the show? We have a lot of people calling up. They're confused. They're on the cusp. They're, they don't know where they're at. And I decided to quantify it. You guys can uh, take it if you like, okay. too. Okay. Uh, if you know the difference between... We haven't done anything yet. Uh, <laughs> put your hand down. If you know the difference between taupe and mauve, give yourself 10 points. If you've ever taken a me day, give yourself 15 points. If you've ever sweated or even lightly perspired to the oldies, give yourself 10 points. Admit it, Andy. If you've ever gotten a professional massage that didn't involve an Asian woman in a reach-around, give yourself 10 points. If you have a padded toilet seat, give yourself five. <laughs> because really, how much comfort do you need when you're... It has a heater on it. All right. <laughs> if you've named your penis, deduct five points. But if you've named it Seth, add five. <laughs> That's no name for a penis. <laughs> and uh, finally, if you've named your roommate's penis, give yourself 15 <laughs> points. Because... That's really his territory you're infringing on. All right, well, I'm afraid we're, uh, I'm afraid we're out of time. I hope you scored the way you wanted to score at home. Uh, it's called the Dr. Drew and Adam book, A Survival Guide to Life and Love. And, of course, there's the show on MTV. Dr. Drew Pinsky and Adam Corolla, thank you guys very much for stopping thank by you. here. We'll take a break. We'll be back.